Hi, my name is Dave. Today I'm going to show you something very fun. This is a model of the Sun, Earth, and Moon. Uh, all geared up so that everything moves. It should be called technically a Tellurian orrery, but who's going to know that term? I had to look it up. I'm a professor of astronomy, retired, and I had to look that up. So uh, anyway, it's kind of cool. It's very fun. As an educational toy, this is wonderful. It's a lot of fun. It has some errors. There are some problems with it. It doesn't work quite right in some respects, but uh, it's not bad. One of the things I really like about this toy is that you have to move it by hand. So you have to push it around. It doesn't have any little motors or anything in it. You have to push it around. And here's how it goes. In the instructions, it says you're supposed to move it clockwise, but it's wrong. You have to move it counterclockwise for it to work right, for it to describe the solar system correctly, at least, in any way, shape, or form. It also gives you a warning, and the instructions don't go backwards with it, but I see no reason why you can't go backwards with it just fine. Um, so, you move the thing around, and here comes the Earth. Notice that the Earth is spinning and it's tilted. It should be tilted at 23 and a half degrees. I haven't measured it, but it's close. <laughs> and that'll help you to demonstrate the seasons. And the moon is going around and uh, the, the rate isn't quite correct. I mean, it's off a little bit. It should be 29 and a half days. It's, I think, 32 or something. It, it really doesn't matter anyway. Um, it's close enough. It, it's going to be close enough to give you a good simulation of what's going on. Uh, now, one of the things is when you set this up, and the instructions are very unclear, you have to set it up so that at the summer solstice, right here, that's the summer solstice marked, this angle, this is tilted so that it's towards the sun like that. Uh, and that'll be correct. That'll give you the correct thing. Everything will still work right, but your labels will be wrong if you're if you're off on that. So anyway, here comes the, the Earth going around the Sun. Notice that it stays at the same angle. It's spinning every day. It's every time it spins. That's one day. The Moon goes around roughly every 30 days or so. 30 times it goes around. I haven't measured exactly how many times the Earth spins. It should be 365. I'm sure it's something close to that every time it goes around. Now you can demonstrate a couple of things here. Uh, let's turn the lights off. The sun has a little light in there so you can turn on and off. And This will supposedly show you, well, it'll show you eclipses, but it shows you an eclipse every time the moon goes around. There's a lunar eclipse, there's a solar eclipse. That's too often, folks. <laughs> and they can't, I mean, the moon's orbit should be inclined to the ecliptic plane, the plane of the Earth and the Sun. So it should be inclined by. Uh, about five degrees or so, so that's going to be a problem. It's not going to work correctly, exactly. As an astronomy professor, I throw my hands up in disgust, but as a, a parent or grandparent, it's okay. <laughs> it's not a big deal. So eclipses don't happen as often as it might be, as you might guess from this uh, this model. But it's it's fine. And it doesn't really show the phases of the moon very well. Because you see the sun has just got a little hole here to, to illuminate the earth. It's, um, it doesn't work very well in that respect. It's cute, isn't it? These are inexpensive. I couldn't believe it. I only spent about 35 bucks for this, something like that. That's a lot of toy for $35. And it may not be technically precise in many respects, but it gets some really cool ideas across. Now, I came up with an idea to, to make this a little bit better. 
This is a uh, camping lamp. Replace the sun with this. Let's turn off the sun so we don't burn out the battery. This one goes, can sit right in there. That's a little bit better. It gives you a little more accurate representation of uh, what's going on here. And you can see the earth is illuminated, but the moon is also illuminated. So now, as the moon goes around the earth, moon can go around. The main thing about this is it keeps the moon illuminated better. It still does those irritating eclipses all the time, but it keeps the moon illuminated better so that it goes through its phases. It's um, not sure if that's going to get across to many of the younger kids, but you can see the phases. I've got a, a link to a video that demonstrates the phases of the moon much better than this. So you may want to check that out. Also, the seasons here, this is... Uh, not bad for showing the seasons, and I, I like the fact that it shows the tilt, and it shows the orbit as being nearly circular, which is correct. We, uh, the seasons have nothing to do with us getting farther and closer, so it, it's uh, all about the tilt of the uh, Earth's spin axis. So this is a pretty cool little model, it's a lot of fun. Replace the sun with one of these for just for fun. It's not a big deal though. I've got a link to where you can buy these too if you want. Here's how I made the uh, improved sun. This is a, a little kind of a toy light, LED light. You buy it on eBay. I've got a link. Anyway, uh, this thing comes right off here. There's some batteries inside there. You drill a hole. You have to cut off the hook there. Drill a hole in there that's big enough for a bolt. This is a quarter inch bolt. So then you have to put the bolt through the hole like that. And this goes right in. There you go. I hope you enjoyed my video about this uh, Earth, Sun, Moon model. Thank you very much for watching.